Hey guys, this is Steve Huff from stevehuffphoto.com and I'm here today to finally show you guys, is it time yet? Yeah, I'd say it's time, to show you guys the brand new Wotencraft Riker redesigned for 2017 and the cool part is you guys, my readers, helped redesign this bag. Wotencraft took all of your um, comments and ideas and they used the ones, implemented the ones that were they thought were the most useful and even so this is still not the completed bag so I'm going to show you guys what they've done so far this is a prototype and they want even more feedback from you guys so instead of leaving comments here on YouTube go to my website at stefaphoto.com and after I show you this bag in this video in detail leave a comment on the post I'll put the link in the description below and let Wotencraft know what you'd like to see still added or taken away or anything to this bag. And they will take your ideas into consideration. Also, once they finish with the bag, the bag will be available. It will be launched basically for sale at my website, stefafoto.com. How cool is that? Wotencraft says they want to make this the best camera bag in the world, but only you can decide that. But I think with your help, they can actually achieve that goal. So let's take a look at what I have inside this Wotencraft Riker, the new edition, and let's go over it and I'll show you side-by-side -side differences of this new version compared to the old version, which I've been using ever since I received it quite a while ago. It's actually been my most used bag. So let's take a closer look right now. So Wotencraft has made it wider. You can fit a Leica SL with a couple lenses, um, but they did accommodate it especially for Leica users. It has what they're calling a pillow insert right here. So you can convert it to, uh, if you wanna just use a Leica M, which is much smaller, uh, you can add this and you can fit an M and quite a few lenses, maybe three lenses inside. I was able to pack uh, the SL, three lenses, uh, some accessories. Uh, you can fit SD cards, your charger, your batteries all inside. In the, and to, truth be told, you guys know who follow me. I love, love, love Wotencraft, the workmanship, the design, and the usefulness of the bag. Now, they're using premium leather here. This is not the kind of leather that's hard and stiff. Now, I have a thing. Now, some people may prefer those big, stiff, hard leather bags. You know, the kind that have no give and they're just stiff and hard. I hate those kind of bags. No offense to anyone who likes them. It's all a personal preference. My personal preference is um, a bag that has the soft, pliable leather. It makes it more comfortable to hold. It looks nicer in my opinion. And it just has that kind of luxurious feel to it. But um, you have magnets here, just like in the original. So when you close it and you tuck it under this leather strap, the magnets will help keep it in place. But look at what a handsome bag. Now, of course, there's those rough and rugged guys out there who always say, that looks like a man purse. Well, I'm confident in my sexuality. I'm a dude, I'm a guy, I like nice things, and I love the design of this bag. The quality of build, the quality of leather, the functionality, the usefulness, it's all here. The quality of the zippers. Now, again, this is still a prototype. Uh, bag. They added, you still have your big pocket here, but they added two smaller pockets here. So you can stuff your phone, you can stuff whatever you want, you can stuff an iPad in the back. Um, and again, they're creating these modular uh, add-on items as well. Now, like I said, this is kind of a prototype. And Wotencraft wants you guys to let them know if there's anything you want to see changed. So let's open her up here. Immediately, I already have this open, but you have quality zippers here. And they are kind of aiming for the Leica crowd, I think, because they mentioned they're going to have red interior, black um, exterior. To be honest, this doesn't look like red to me, though. It looks more like a purple, uh, but not a deep purple. I loved the purple interior of the original Riker. It was so cool. Um, this is like a lighter reddish purple, but it still looks really nice. It's soft, and according to Wotan Craft, they are going to uh, improve the fabric. Actually, they're saying the fabric will be further upgraded 
which is currently in development to deliver an even softer hand feel and better resistance to Velcro hook tearing. So this material is all going to be changed. Now what's new inside is you have these little compartments. You can put, um, they're like stretchy materials, so it'll hold whatever you put in there. They give you a little SD card holder, uh, for example. So you have this pocket, then you have pockets within the po pockets here as well. It's always hard to show the insides of bags due to lighting. Um, but there's no slacking here on storage. You have little pockets for everything uh, within this one pocket. So you have the big pocket, pockets here, and little compartments here that you can hold whatever your heart desires. Now, you go up one level and you have a big pocket here. This can hold, I had my headphones in here. You can put an iPad in here. You can put chargers, batteries, cables, film, whatever your heart desires. Once again, you go up to the top and you can see this luxurious, very soft interior, which they say they are improving even further. So inside, I have it set up for my Leica SL. There's a little insert you take out, which they're calling a pillow insert, um, which is there if you want to use a Leica M or other smaller camera, and you take it out if you want to use an SL. So they really put some thought into it for Leica people. Um, so if you want to, if you shoot an SL like this with a 50 Lux I have on, I have my rock and roll strap from Tie Her Up Straps. You can see those reviews in my last video on YouTube here. But you have plenty of room for your SL to just slide in easily and slide out easily. Now let's say you want to put a Leica M uh, inside. Walton Craft has what they're calling their pillow insert. So let's do this. So there's the pillow. You put that in. You can attach this here. And now it's slimmer and you can fit your Leica M, a lens, a lens here. What do I have over here? 28 Sumalux for the Leica M mount, which I use on the SL and the M. And of course, there's all kinds of adjustable pockets. There's a couple more inserts it comes with if you want to make it more modular. And of course, you still have your flap right here that you can zip up. And um, I can't zip it now because if I do, my stool is going to turn because this is a rotating stool. But this will zip up and keep your gear protected from the elements. Now the original Riker has that as well and that's one of the things I adored about that bag and still do. And then of course you have your big top flap which goes over to protect everything. So your gear is very well protected. Um, it's not going to get rained on, it's not going to get snow, it's not going to get sleet. And these Wotan Craft bags age very well. Uh, mine has been holding up really well and actually right now I want to show you guys a side-by-side -side of this bag and the previous version Riker to show you that this one's a little bit bigger so you can hold larger cameras you can hold more gear um, so let's see what that looks like alright so there you go on the left side you have the new Riker on the right side you have the old Riker you can kinda clearly see the size difference you have more width on the new version than you do on the old so therefore you can hold cameras like the Leica SL you can hold larger cameras like the Sony a7R II with larger lenses. You can hold the Olympus OMD Mark II, which, hey, I have one right there. But you can hold larger cameras. You can hold more of your stuff. It is better organized for your little things like the memory cards, um, anything you want, pens, pencils, tablets, phone. And you still have the same exact beautiful build quality. Um, that you've always come to expect from Wotencraft. I've had nothing but amazing experiences with Wotencraft. Um, customer service is fantastic. And I actually have other leather goods that uh, I've acquired from them. Uh, iWatch or the Apple Watch, uh, they make bands for it. They make watch bands for all watches. Gorgeous leather quality. So I'm going to be doing another post soon uh, about the Wotencraft Riker, this new version. Uh, I'm going to be using it over the next following weeks and uh, to see what I think about it further. But so far, it's beautiful. Um, it gives you a little more space. But in the comments on my website at stefafoto.com, 
Let us know, let Wattencraft know what you'd like to see implemented in this bag before they go to production. So there she is, the Wotencraft Riker. I'll do one more spin around so you can see this is the prototype of the new version they're coming out with in 17. But they want to know more from you, so leave your comments below. I am now going to stand up and wear the bag so you can see what it looks like uh, on me and what it could look like on you and how big it is. Um, it's very comfortable to wear just like the previous versions. As you can see, I like to wear bags slung over um, my shoulder across the body and this bag works perfectly for that. Over time, it will form fit to your side um, and it just becomes a very comfortable all around use bag. So there you have it, the Wotencraft Riker, uh, the new version. My first look at it, this is just a first look. We'll do much more on this bag uh, as we progress. And as I said, when they finally release a production model, sales will be announced and launched directly at stevehuffphoto.com. Thank you all for coming here, for stopping by, for watching what I do. Uh, always check back to stevehuffphoto.com for news, reviews, guest posts, all kinds of photographic stuff. But I only talk about the things I love, the things that drive me, the things I'm passionate about, and Wotencraft is one of them. So check it out, stevehuffphoto.com.